Okay, we're continuing learning the chapters of the fathers, Pirkei Avot, the lessons of the fathers. The fathers, in this case, are the founders of the, the, the oral Torah, the Talmud, the Mishnah. <clears throat> so we're, we're now on the third chapter. There's six chapters altogether. And we learned yesterday the 11th Mishnah in this chapter, right? There are in this chapter, there are... Okay. Oh, I see, I see. There are 17 missions, so we'll see. 18, I'm sorry. 18. But now we're on 11. We, no, yesterday we did 11. We're doing 12. Rabbi Yishmael. Rabbi Yishmael, he was a contemporary of Rabbi Akiva. He said, Have Kal Laroche. We have to have an explanation of these words. You should be light to the head. Vanoach and easy the tishkoris. What's tishkoris? Means the dark ones. Uh, makes no sense. We'll see what it means. You should receive every person happy with joy. Oh, what's that? Yeah. What does it mean? Let's see. Havi Kalarosh means you should be to the Bartanura. Larosh means a, a, a great person, a person that's important. You should be Kal. What does it mean, Kal? Be, I say, subservient. Don't be an egotist. You should be Livne Adam Gadol Zakin Vyoshev Rosh Shiva. Havi Kal, you should be like quick and easy. To, to serve him. In other words, you see a great person, don't hold from yourself. Be eager, oh, eager to do what he wants, to help him. The Noach, the Tishkor, what does it mean? Tishkor means dark. A person that's young and his, the hairs of his head and his beard are dark. A person like that, you don't have to be so eager to serve him. So much you should be helpful to everybody, but tamod lefanav benacha to be yeshuv, but be noach, be friendly, right? Be friendly. Those people that are greater than you, you should be subservient to them. People that are less than you, you should be pleasant to them, right? You, bhavi makabel kol adam. You should therefore receive everyone. <clears throat> whether it's the hot, big person, whether a young person. You should always be happy. You should receive them in a happy way. Here he says the word makabel means like makbil. Makbil means like to be on the same level as him. Neged means kabel. Pirush, that's one. In other words, whatever, adapt yourself to whoever you're dealing with. Don't try to be greater than anybody. Another explanation, kal means when you're young, then you should be quick to do what God wants. Kal, the Rosh, that is in your early years, the Rosh, the beginning years, you should be quick to do what God wants. Kal, fast, like Kal Kanesher. But when you get older, but Tishkoret, what the Tishkoret means when your face becomes like darkened, then then Noachlo. Then you should be, then if you do that, if when you're young, you work hard, then no, this is course, I'm promising you that when you get older, it'll be, what this course means you get older, darker, then it'll be easy. Things will be easy. Uh, nice way of saying it, different way of saying it. Be happy to see everyone. One reason is to be happy to see everybody is because every man is made in the image of God. And every person you see, everybody is different. So it's all these different images of God that you see. And that should make you happy, make you happy to see the goodness in everyone. Okay, let's do the next one, Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva, very famous, and we'll talk more about who Rabbi Akiva was and what he did. He was one of the 10 that was killed by the Romans, tortured to death. We talk about him on uh, Yom Kippur. <clears throat> he was the head of the, says the whole, the whole Torah. He had the 24,000 pupils and they all died because they didn't act properly to one another. 
So he said, Schok Bakalas Rosh, if a person always is like too lightheaded and joking around, Margilim La Erva. It accustoms a person to be sinful, especially se- sexual sins. <coughs> a person lets down his guard, he just wants to be easy. That's what it says in the Tanya. <clears throat> that if you don't <clears throat> look at yourself at all in it within a how do you say a <clears throat> with a um, a like a, in a severe way, if you don't control yourself at all, just the main thing you think the main thing is just to be happy, and in fact is is very important to be happy, but not at the cost of doing sins. So therefore, he said, if a person is too lightheaded. This will accustom a person to do sins. Masorat Sayyid la Torah. The teachings of the rabbis, that's a fence around the Torah. Maisrot, if you give charity, this is a fence around your possessions, your wealth. Nidorim, if you make vows, then this is a fence around your, what do you say, chastity. Okay, now just to make it clear, nowadays you should not make vows. We do not make vows. You say, Belina, without a vow. So if you say, for instance, you know, okay, enough. I'm not going to, smoking all the time. I'm going crazy. I don't want to smoke. I'm not going to smoke. Do not say, I swear I'm not going to smoke. Don't say that. You should say, without any vows, that's it. I'm going to stop smoking. I'm going to stop smoking. And you should say, I'm going to try to stop smoking. God, help me to stop smoking. But you shouldn't say, a vow. Vows are very dangerous. Why are they dangerous? Because if you make a vow and you break it, especially if you make the vow in the name of God, then it's very severe. Saig lechachma shtika. An offense around wisdom is to be quiet. What does it mean to be quiet? It can't be being quiet from the words of Torah. It means to be quiet from meaningless words, just sort of shooting off your mouth and everything. To tell a joke to make people happy is good. But to tell a joke because you're addicted to telling jokes, you just want attention, is not so good. Sometimes you have to, a person has to know where the, how do you say, the, the, the middle balance is. So let's see what Rabbi Akiva said. Right? Lightheadedness brings people to sin. And the teachings of the rabbis are offense to the Torah. Charity is offense to richness. Vows are offense around, uh, how do you say, religiousness to be <clears throat> fear of God. And a fence around wisdom is quiet, not to talk. Re- Rabbi Akiva says, Masorat, the teachings of the rabbis, the teachings that the rabbis gave us in how exactly to understand the Torah, how to interpret the Torah properly, the laws of the Torah, is this, that's what keeps the Torah going. That's what keeps the Torah going. And exactly how we should read the words of the Torah. And the, the commandments of the Torah, like we said so many times before, right? nothing in the written Torah is clear. It doesn't tell you what day to keep Shabbat. It doesn't say how to keep Shabbat. It doesn't say what is a sin on Shabbat. It doesn't say, it doesn't say Ten Commandments. What it says, don't kill. How do you know what it means, don't kill? Maybe it means don't kill ants. Who knows what it means? So everything has to be interpreted properly by the God-fearing rabbis of the Talmud. and the and, uh, They're the ones that are only, they're the ones that are, uh, <clears throat> that are certified, that they can explain the words of the Torah. That's what it means, the Masoret. Masoret is the teachings of the rabbis. That's a fence around the Torah. So we know exactly what to do with it. Giving charity, it says, aser, aser ta aser. It says, you should, when you give a tenth of your, you give charity, is that makes you rich. Tenth of your earnings for charity, making vows. A person uh, wants to separate himself. He wants to not act in a mundane way like everyone else. So one way to do it is say it in by your mouth. Right? Say it. I want to stop. Right? Uh, acting foolishly. I want to stop. That's what helps. And wisdom is fenced in. Wisdom is protected by quiet. So, so yes, what type of quiet are we talking about? If we're talking about being quiet for words of Torah, it already says you should say words of Torah all the time. If it's telling you you shouldn't say forbidden words, 
right? Like slander or or evil speech is that's that's a commandment from the Torah. You're not allowed to do that. So why do you have to have the Mishnah telling us that you have to be quiet? Quiet from what? So this is talking about quiet from optional words. You don't have to talk so much. You don't have to be always the one that everybody listens to. A person should try to speak as much as possible. That's what King Solomon said. Avil machrish chacham yechashev. A, 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 a fool makes noise. A wise man listens. Good. That is today's lesson. Tomorrow, God willing, 8.15, we'll finish the sicha of the Rebbe that we started about transforming the month of Tammuz to a month of, from a, a terrible month to a month of joy and good. And from that, we can learn to transform the whole entire world. Have a good day with Mashiach now. See you, God willing, tomorrow at 8.15 tomorrow morning.